Good morning. We're here with Chef Chris Manning. Good morning. You've got Good morning. such a nice array for us this morning. I'm loving I'm all the you, colors. And the smells, the aromas. It smells man. so good. I know you've got a couple different dishes for well, us this one morning. One that I do every year, so please indulge me. It's my favorite. A cranberry orange relish. It's so our tradition. Growing it up. It's so our good. Thanksgiving growing tradition. Growing up, you know, that, <laughs> that jellied cranberry. No. And you could still see the can rings. It's in a it, nostalgic man. thing, but and does anyone actually like Scott it? Scott Delaney. It was okay. Shout out. Your husband I, yeah, likes your husband it. Does like he it. does. He loves it. <laughs> and my mom liked it. So, anyways, it was on the table. My father hated it. And he had learned when his time in New England. That's this is all New England. Uh, he made a cranberry orange relish and every that is year. Good. And mm -hmm. I love this stuff because it's too. sweet and sour. The cranberry so tart, it and it's, so it's a palate fresh. cleanser, yes. you know. And so, a one pound of, of fresh cranberries, uh, one orange. Get as many seeds out as you can, cut it into eight pieces. I actually use two of these little halos. Oh, yeah, um, good idea. Make sure you get that oh. green off of there, get that stem off there, and into a food processor with one cup of sugar and two ounces of Grand Marnier. Mm -hmm. And you pulse and pulse and pulse and get that baby as pureed as you can. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's thick like a <laughs> cranberry sauce like it, or like yeah. a cooked mm -hmm. cranberry sauce. It's absolutely delicious. It goes great with turkey, great with ham. Mm -hmm. Your leftover turkey, you make a sandwich oh, with yeah. that. Mayonnaise on the bottom, the cranberry relish on the top, some, uh, you know. I would eat just the wall well, of this. So I good. love this so stuff. Good. And then the next one up, um, we had seafood all, all the time, you know, with uh, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. There'd be at least one type of seafood dish. And, uh, it Boston baked, and my old man loved that. I and love how you made that. It's yeah, so simple. That. So you melt uh, one stick. A quarter pound of butter, two sleeves of uh, Ritz crackers, right into a Ziploc bag. You know, munch them up and beat mm -hmm. the heck out of them. And <laughs> you want them kind of coarse, okay? If you're feeling yeah. stressed, you yeah, yeah, exactly. Anger this is a good one. one. A yeah, good, yeah, absolutely. Anger management. And uh, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, a little bit of garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper. Mix that all together, and you'll make enough for. You can do this with cod. You could do this with shrimp. You can actually yeah. add crab meat to this. You get the mm -hmm. can of uh, lump crab meat, jumbo lump crab meat. Mix Sorry. that in, and you can stuff haddock. You can stuff shrimp with it. It's absolutely Any delicious. Seafood. You Ooh. put that on top. Uh, another trick that my dad did: uh, you put your scallops in. Now you can use a baking dish, a Pyrox dish. I got the little foil uh, jabbers today. Smart. I got to go convenience. Easy you do clean up. extra dry. This is dry vermouth. Yep. And when he made shrimp scampi, he'd use just a teaspoon of uh, dry vermouth in there. It just changes it completely. Wow. So I put Smart. a teaspoon per five to six scallops on the bottom of the pan with those scallops and then our crumble on top. You bake that 350, 375 for about 20 minutes. And it's it's just gorgeous. It's uh, golden Look brown. At that. Absolutely delicious. Your scallops are Scallop in the bottom. Pot pie. There you go, rock know, and roll, man. I like what it. what it looks yeah. like. That would be a great appetizer I mean, to make, too. And it's something base a little scallops. different. You asked yeah. about base scallops. Mm -hmm. So you could do base scallops are a little more affordable. Just cut your cooking they're time down. Much cheaper. Because they okay, don't right. take a long time. True. You don't want to Four rubbery. to five minutes, and they're done. Oh, so. yes. If you but, overcook, that's oh, not going to be good. These big scallops have been so expensive lately at the grocery store. I've been buying the Boy, smaller ones. Boy, it's worth ones. it, though. What an indulgence. Yeah. Thank you for doing that. So awesome. Is that amazing or what? Wow. They're juicy. Mm-hmm. That crumb topping. Buttery yeah, flavor. It's, it's a big treat. Even like for picky eaters that say they don't like seafood, it's they would like that. It's not fishy at all, right? No, not I love fishy it, at all. If you try to convince people of that that don't like it mm -hmm. or think they don't like it, they won't. And just don't tell them. <laughs> they just won't. <laughs> More for us. We used to tell my <laughs> grandma that. that calamari was chicken, so she would eat it. <laughs> I take it cool. It works out. She loved it. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you so much. I gotta try that. Just one. don't believe anything she tells you <laughs> yeah, when she I serves know. you food. But I'm, ah, you'll like it. <laughs> You're gonna like it. It's chicken. <laughs> Thank you. That Thank is you. amazing. <laughs> we'll be right back.